Hello, hello, Facebook. I hadn't been on in a while because I've been going through a little bit, but um, I want to say about my pet peeves that I noticed uh, either due to people being ignorant or uh, lack of concern or sarcasm or they don't know any better. Okay. What I've noticed about death that people come and go, that's just automatically hands down. We don't have no control of that. No matter how long person grieve, don't is this until you walk in their shoes and you may have walked in their shoes and just don't have a heart. But respect how people feel and their emotions of what they're going through, whether it's mentally, psychologically, emotionally, socially, financially. And I'm going to talk about financially. Um, everybody, uh, thank you. I'm going to say this. Thank you for all those that have contributed. Um, one of the things that I often hear, not even in my situation, but other people's situation too, uh, we have to get better with our etiquettes in communicating when people lose. I ain't got no etiquettes right now. He never have any. <laughs> That's my son. But uh, back to what I'm saying. Um, I have a father. That was my. That is my biological father. I'm, I don't have a problem sharing because this may help someone. He was. I knew my father. But he had other children, he had other life, and I can't uh, hold a person about whatever the hell they did in their life or whatever happened in their situation. I can't help that people are heartless. That's not my issue because I'm not heartless. But um, my father came to live with me back in February or March. Not by choice. I believe I've been hoodwink. Which I don't mind. Uh, my father that raised me is truly my, will always be my father. But at the end of the day, my bloodline ties, that you can never change that. You can run for it. You can not be bothered with it, but one thing in life, you never know who's going to have to, you, you're going to have to take care of. The person that you wasn't a part in their life, person that you uh, threw your nose up and denied the mother. Now, that didn't happen to my mother. And I want to get that straight. Uh, even in their relationship, they had a relationship and some want to live in a fantasy thing just because one name was similar that a mother was acting like the other mother, no dummy. My mother don't play games. Uh, nobody got nothing confused. We're going to correct that. But back to, because <laughs> um, I can say what the hell I want to now. Uh, I'm still grieving and going through. But what I notice, a lot of people don't know what to say when a person is deceased, has lost a loved one. Or they don't give a darn. Or they being heartless. And are sarcastic because they feeling some kind of way on some other issue. So now let me let me do this dig why she this person that they lose. But in essence, while you're doing that, the same thing go around, come around for whoever you are. You know who you are. I don't have to call out no names. I don't do no name calling unless you ask me directly. Then I'll tell you because that's what a Leo does. We'll tell you in the face, but. But uh, we don't go by hearsay. We don't. Um, if you ask, we'll tell you. That's just that's just the Leo thing. You got no shame to gain.